So there it is. You can just see it, the, the Mitchell Diva fuel depot. It doesn't really look like much at all. You can just see these two ridges. There's actually a whole load of fuel tanks buried underneath there, concealing the, the, the important aviation fuel. As more fuel was needed, more underground fuel stores like Mitchell Diva were being built. But there was another problem, because there were only two seaports that could distribute the fuel to the various stores. Avonmouth in the south and Merseyside in the north. From there, all fuel had to be transported by lorry, making it vulnerable to attack. So in 1941, the RAF hatched an even more ambitious plan. Which was to send all that fuel underground. It began simply enough with an underground pipeline joining Merseyside to Avonmouth. North and south were now connected, but fuel was needed in airfields in the east. So working secretly at night, engineers extended the underground fuel network to Kent, East Anglia and Lincolnshire. The pipeline now crisscrossed the country, delivering fuel without ever going near the surface. This was the GPSS, or Government Pipeline and Storage System. We're actually flying right along one of the pipelines now, but of course you'd never know flying above here, completely buried. There's actually no evidence at all, which is exactly what the British wanted. The pipeline remained secret throughout the war. It kept our Air Force flying and helped turn the tide in the Allies' favour. And remarkably, we still need this same pipeline to get us into the air today. This is how Heathrow Terminal 5 looks from below. Once an RAF base, it's now one of the busiest airports in the world. 1,200 aircraft use it every day. All this is only possible thanks to the intricate system of fuel pipes hidden underground. Each pipe delivers fuel from right across the country direct to a plane at its stand. Beyond Heathrow, Manchester, Gatwick and Stansted are all also connected. In fact, half of all the aviation fuel used passes through a direct descendant of the old wartime pipelines. It's extraordinary to think that the underground network that gets us on holiday today is the same one which helped us win the war.